I'm Hari. And today we have someone special on our podcast. He brings 16 years of experience into the world of digital analytics. He has worked with Adobe, he has worked with Publicis, he has worked with Bank of Australia, and he has worked in almost all the countries uh, in the world. He has worked in US, Germany, um, Korea, and Australia. I'm very excited uh, because he's my mentor and I have learned so many things from him. I'm very happy to introduce and bring in our guest, Mr. Varun Gupta, to our podcast. Welcome, Varun. Thank you so much, uh, Durba, for having me here and thanks for the kind words. I believe we all uh, are learning in some way or the other. So I appreciate that you're saying that I'm your mentor, but I've also learned a lot of things from you <laughs> and my colleagues and my esteemed friends. So uh, definitely I'm looking forward to talk to you today about various topics that you have in mind. I'm curious as well that what you're going to ask me, but hopefully I'll be able to answer you as best as I can. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. So you're back from Germany? Yeah, that's correct. A couple of months back? A couple of months yeah. back. So how are you feeling? How's India treating you, sir? India's good. Uh, but as I wrote in my recent uh, LinkedIn post, uh, it's been a hard summer for me. Uh, having mm. said that, it's been a couple of uh, years since I spent my time in summers in India. So it was a little hard for me, especially for my family. But overall, uh, we survived and we are in good shape. Looking forward for the winters as well, because generally, particularly, personally, I like winters. Um, and I've been kind of programmed now, given the fact that I was in Europe and US, that I like winters more than summers, just my preference. True. So yeah, everything is well. Uh, I like a couple of things in India, which has been changed. Uh, like now we are getting door-to-door -door services within 15 minutes we are getting the groceries and delivery so that I don't have to uh, you know uh, go there in the market and spend my time sweating and taking things especially for the grocery needs so yeah, yeah it's going well thank you awesome awesome I'm very happy to have you here sir and it's a pleasure to you know learn from you it's every day is a learning from for me at least whenever I get on a call with you but uh, today is an opportunity for our audiences and people who are listening to the pod to this podcast and this interview to learn more from you your 16 years of experience your multi country experience where you have been traveling to a lot of countries doing a lot of things that one aspire to uh, you know in given any corporate situation um, so let's why don't we start with your education your background and uh, your college days maybe and how Varun Gupta, you know, came to what Varun Gupta we know today? Uh, good question, Durba. Uh, first of all, just to let everyone know that I was not a topper in my school. Though I know and still know how to connect the dots, I think that helped me a lot and still helping me a lot. Uh, I did my electrical engineering mm -hmm. uh, from a private college. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was in third year, and as we all know that generally in third year or final year, a lot of companies come as part of a placement program and I got placed in one of the finest IT companies based of South India and they rolled out an offer everything was good and uh, people might laugh at it but I got a designation of mainframe engineer trainee okay <laughs> so okay if okay. if uh, not Omniture or digital analytics I have been a, a mainframe engineer uh, and as we know I don't know about recent days but in those times uh, uh, one person who's got selected in one of the companies cannot sit again because we have to mm. give the chance to our esteemed colleagues and classmates or schoolmates, whatever you call it. Yeah. And that's where I got an offer. And then they said, no, you cannot sit again. When I completed my final year and I was desperately waiting for my joining, uh, they wrote me an email that my joining is postponed till further notice because of the recession. Oh, okay. So is it 2007, 2000? 2008. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I was really astonished because I never had anything else. I was just counting on one of the offers that I got at that time. Of, and you uh, can't sit in placements again? I cannot sit again because I completed my college. I've completed my college. So the uh, only yeah. thing which was left was off-campus drives. Uh, and they offered me that I can join their call center in South India with very, very reduced salary. Okay. Now I had two options. I would have gone ahead to South India and join their call center operations. But as we know, at that point of time, call center operations never had that kind of a lucrative salary as compared to IT companies. So that was the one thing. And the second thing was job hunting. So mm. I thought, why not I spend some time in job hunting and see how my career and life will go. Um, 
so i joined a call center for a couple of months and at the same time i was uh, looking actively for a job uh especially to pay my bills and make sure that at least i'm not asking uh, my parents for any kind of a money or any amount so that i can live by my own and be an independent person uh one fine day i got a call uh, from my colleague uh, and a friend who also did btech from some other college but he was my colleague in that call center he called me that hey varun there is an off campus drive going on why don't you join so we both uh, took sick leave planned sick leave that day uh-huh. and we went there um and um, at the starting there was a debrief by a manager hiring manager of the company and they told us that we are hiring for omniture oh okay yeah um, and um, it was a big surprise for me because at that point of time uh, people like me hot blood young blood uh, dropped out from the college uh, used to have that kind of Uh, uh shining designations mm-hmm. shiny designations like software engineer trainee uh, electrical engineer trainee that kind of a thing actually system engineer system engineer yeah. something like that yeah um, and the hiring manager i appreciate his honesty he told us that they will be hiring us as intern and after 6 months of successful probation they will give us analyst position analyst position okay and it would be an omniture and obviously uh, at that point of time omniture as we all know was quite new especially in india is quite new and a uh, lot of people a lot of uh, uh, aspiring candidates left that off campus at that point of itself oh okay but for me i thought okay let me take a risk let me at least understand and appear through that interview yeah then obviously i will talk to the hiring manager if i went through that round Right. uh because as we know that uh, last round is always about uh, hiring manager 101 um taking time to understand me as a candidate and i am taking time to understand him as my uh, manager or maybe a mentor so then uh, they had a written test i cleared that then they have a group discussion mm-hmm. i cleared that and finally i was into the last round of interview and he asked me some of the basic question to check my stability given the fact that i was electrical engineer he just wanted to check that if i have an appetite to learn uh new technology and to which i said yes um okay and i asked him that what is omniture <laughs> okay. i never heard of it what okay. is that then he said uh, you'll be working um uh, for omniture site catalyst platform then mm. you know what i said uh, inter- i was so nervous at that point of time of so nervous mm. i said omniture site catalyst <laughs> 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 so he so he laughed he said no no it's not psychiatrist it's site catalyst okay and then i said okay i am fine with that and they gave me uh, a roll out offer they rolled out an offer uh, and everything went well and then rest is history so yeah. that's how i landed up to omniture uh, stream or you can say digital analytics stream okay wonderful wonderful um, so just for our audience to know mm-hmm. uh, what is omniture today what is it called right now i know but uh, just for someone who is not from the same field right that same tool that we use today what, what can you explain what omniture is and what it has been now a sure thing so yeah it's a good question um, i would have said it already uh, so omniture was an independent company um, and it has different different products like test and target uh, merchandising and site catalyst uh site catalyst nowadays it's called adobe analytics uh, so adobe took over that company in short and when i started working on it um it was an acquisition which was going on and then they used to call it omniture site catalyst powered by adobe oh okay hmm and there were different versions to it uh so for example for couple of projects i worked or trained was site catalyst 13 and then came 14 mm-hmm. and then it was 15 which was a big shift so Mm-hmm. uh i know pioneers uh and my seniors know this already uh that site catalyst 14 to 15 was a big shift uh for us and it with so many vast feature we were really happy that at least we were really fast uh in terms of uh, taking decisions or giving the insights and then site catalyst from site catalyst 15 it became adobe analytics hmm. and now as we all know it has seen so many differences so many vast developments evolvements since site catalyst 13 to 14 15 and finally adobe analytics and mm. the race is still on we are seeing so many developments still uh, within adobe analytics which is really good 
right and i remember i just want to uh, take a moment and share a story with you mm. uh, i know the people who have started working in adobe analytics might laugh at it mm. uh, but when i started working on site catalyst there were no segments there were no segments <laughs> <laughs> so now it's very easy as we all know that um, uh, we just go to the segment manager do an experiment at the real time it will tell us that uh, if our segment is working or not correct true but that point of time we were not that lucky we used to have asi slots oh in 13 okay um so just to let everyone know um, in asi slots you won't get the real time data forget about that even if you uh, go ahead and make that uh, request it will take around 1 to 2 business days to get an approval from the system and then you will see your data and then the biggest embarrassing moment at that point of time is that if you're wrong which we can yeah these days also we experiment we create a segment and see how the data is shaping up sure at that point of time if it is wrong then again we have to wait for one or two days so uh, i don't know about others but i generally used to give um a kind of heads up to uh, the customers or the clients that i have been dealing with that at least give me 10 days to create a segment for you <laughs> because i knew i knew that um, one shot won't be possible okay so we have to experiment wait for one or two days and then get it approved and then we see the data how's it shaping up my goodness and uh, it becomes more complex if you have multiple criteria and it we cannot have that multiple criteria at that point of time acha there was no Multiple or multiple criteria. I won't go into the tech right now. But right. There yeah. were not so many uh, criteria like we are seeing time-based segment and all. Yeah. Was never there. Wonderful. And you know, um, one more thing that I would like to tell you. Um, stop me if I'm going too technical right now. Uh, but um, the the issue that we used to face was there was no page URL report. Okay. <laughs> Out of the box. So uh, we used to go um, and request it from the data warehouse report and everything, but yeah. it was never there. Uh, last thing that i still laugh at it was that we all know how processing rule works right? right but that point of time we never had an access to processing rules we used to give an exam there was a proctored exam right 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 i i know that i know that yes yes and we used to get passed into it if you are passed uh-huh. you have to send that request to client care adobe customer support okay and i know people know this already but i'm just telling for the young uh, generation who have started working on this uh, platform uh, we have to uh, send the scorecard report Okay, and then it used to take whatever their SLA was, Adobe customer care or support, used to take their sweet time mm-hmm. to look into our scorecard. Then used to give an access. Acha. And then we used to work on the processing rules, which was which was little right as as well. I foresee uh, on a serious note because it's a big responsibility. True. You are doing a data manipulation. Um, Uh, so it was a it's a big responsibility as we know with a great power comes a great responsibility. So on a serious note. it was good as well to a certain extent but why i laugh at it because the time taken to give an exam and then submit the report and then their uh, approval it was a big turn around time for a week or something and then only you can get your hands dirty and do the data manipulation as everything yeah. and now everything has changed every lot of things have been changed now how anyone can you know basically go do the processing rules and if you have admin access exactly so if you have got this uh, access from the admin console from your admin yeah. then you can go ahead and play around with it which is little risky of course and maybe that's the reason i personally prefer to do all these things in the development report suite okay and uh, then everything is going well yeah. i jump onto the production one still late true true Yeah, sorry. I I I, no, just, I, know, got, I uh, just also you know, got uh, carried away with carried away with the little tech. But yeah. those were the days actually, uh, wherein we learned, enjoyed a lot, with a kind of a great mentorship and the exposure uh, we got uh, from my esteemed colleagues and the seniors. I still mm. miss their company. So, so uh, 